We met Thai fighters in 1977 with George Lucas's legendary series, Star Wars. The Russians have announced that they have built a prototype of the plasma engine that powers these beasts. If we put the hype aside, while NASA and SpaceX have been working for years to send humans to Mars, the Russians claim that with their newly developed plasma engine, they can reach Mars in just one month. When I first heard the news, I thought, plasma engines have already been tested in space. So why is this such a big deal? But when I looked into the details, I realized that this new development was the first plasma engine designed to carry a crewed spacecraft to Mars. If the claims are true, this means that a prototype of the engines we see in science fiction films, designed for deep space missions, is now real. According to a statement on the Russian atomic agency Rosatom's website, scientists have completed the development of a prototype plasma rocket engine for long-range space travel. The claim is that with these engines, Russia has reached a new level in deep space exploration. The statement says that the new engine, based on a magnetic plasma accelerator, can generate six newtons of thrust. I can almost hear those familiar with engines laughing. Even the weakest car produces around 4,000 newtons of thrust. Elon Musk's Starship rocket has a colossal 74 million newtons, so why do six newtons matter? When you look deeper into the numbers, you start to understand why this new engine is important and whether Elon Musk's Mars claims reflect reality. The principle of a magnetic plasma accelerator is based on accelerating ionized gas, or plasma, using magnetic and electric fields. These engines do not burn fuel and expel gases under pressure like traditional chemical rockets. Instead, they generate thrust using electromagnetic forces. It sounds complex, but we can observe a similar effect in everyday life. If you inflate a balloon, hold its opening, and then release it, the escaping air rapidly pushes the balloon forward. This is Newton's third law, the action-reaction principle. When something is expelled, an equal and opposite thrust is created. Traditional rocket engines create thrust by burning fuel and expelling the resulting gases. But what do plasma engines, a staple of science fiction, expel to generate thrust? Plasma engines typically use xenon, argon, or krypton gas. These are noble gases, and their ionization is much easier compared to other gases. Inside the engine, this gas is exposed to a strong electric field, which ionizes it by stripping electrons from its atoms, leaving behind positively charged ions. Now we have ionized gas, or in other words, plasma. This is where the magnetic fields inside the engine come into play. These fields accelerate the positively charged ions in a specific direction and eject them at high speed from the rocket's exhaust. The principle is actually very similar to how traditional rockets work. Chemical rockets burn fuel to create high-pressure gas and expel it, while plasma engines accelerate and expel ionized gas. But there's a critical difference. Plasma engines do not generate thrust by burning fuel. Instead, they use electromagnetic forces. According to Newton's third law, when ions are ejected from the engine's exhaust, the rocket gains an opposite thrust and moves forward. So it's not just about expelling gas, but about accelerating ionized gas at high speed in a controlled manner. To achieve this, instead of a simple chemical reaction, plasma engines use much more advanced electromagnetic acceleration systems. Since we have come this far, let's explain why plasma engines are better than chemical fuel engines. To put it simply, Accelerating ionized gas with a magnetic effect always produces more thrust than expelling burned gas. This is why plasma engines are always more efficient per unit of fuel. Each particle of fuel ejected from the exhaust moves at a higher velocity and generates greater thrust. The Russians claim they have developed this engine to reach Mars in one month. So how have they done it? The details from their press release are as follows. A large vacuum chamber with a diameter of 4 meters and a height of 19 meters was built at the Troitsk Research Center. This vacuum chamber is equipped with high-efficiency pumping and heat dissipation systems and is designed to simulate space conditions. Based on the statements, it seems that this engine is intended for use in Russia's future space missions. Therefore, testing how the prototype performs in a space-like environment is crucial. When plasma engines are operated directly in Earth's atmosphere, the ions collide with air molecules and lose their speed. This is why a simulated space environment is necessary to measure their true performance. The vacuum laboratory they claim to have built was constructed specifically for this purpose. 
The press release also states that this laboratory will not only serve this project, but will become an important center for Russia's other space research efforts. In summary, with this announcement, the Russians seem to be sending a message. We are also part of the scientific world. As expected, the news about a plasma engine capable of reaching Mars in one month did not receive much attention in American and British science media. There is nothing unusual about this silence. What is strange, however, is that there is also a lack of scientific papers on this newly announced engine prototype. We have not come across any publications in Russian, English, or any other language. Therefore, it is currently impossible to fully verify the accuracy of this news. Additionally, the information shared by Russian institutions does not mention what exactly was done differently. We can partially understand the secrecy due to the highly strategic nature of the subject, but the wording of the press release heavily reeks of propaganda. Considering Russia's long history in space research and its expertise in space transportation, we cannot be certain, but we can say that this achievement has a possibility of being real. Rosatom's Deputy General Director for Science, Alexei Voronov, whom we know from a coup nuclear power plant safety briefings, states that a conventional rocket flight to Mars takes almost a year one way and poses a serious radiation risk to astronauts. However, he claims that plasma engines could reduce this duration to one or two months, making it possible for astronauts to travel to Mars and return. Voronov also emphasizes that creating a prototype is one of the most critical stages of the project. He states that this engine will determine whether it is suitable for the nuclear tugboats planned for future space missions and whether overall production costs can be reduced. It is worth mentioning that, as far as we understand, Voronov is an administrative executive. We have not found any information suggesting that he has a background in physics or engineering. The bottom line is that the Russians did not develop this engine just to stand out in the scientific world or to say, we are not falling behind. Their real goal is to develop a system that could revolutionize space transportation in the future. The statement is so intriguing that it feels as if every word was carefully chosen to send a message. A nuclear tugboat is a term used for space vehicles that transport cargo and operate on nuclear energy. The Russians claim to have built an engine for transporting cargo in space, which carries implications far beyond scientific achievement. Clearly, the emphasis on radiation in the announcement is a direct message to the Americans. Here's why. NASA's research on Mars missions estimated that a one-year journey would expose astronauts to one sievert of radiation. This is five times the recommended limit for astronauts. However, if you complete this journey in one month, you would receive less radiation than astronauts on the ISS. Honestly, if this announcement reflects reality, it is an incredible example of how far we have come in science. The fact that this news comes from Russian scientific institutions is not surprising. The foundation of plasma engines was laid in 1911 by Russian theoretical physicist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. While airplanes were still in their infancy, Tsiolkovsky predicted that ionized gases could be used for propulsion. In fact, back in 1903, he developed the fundamental rocket equation in a paper. He was the first to mathematically describe how a rocket speed changes based on fuel consumption. I'm talking about 1903. Anyway, by 1964, the Soviet Union had produced the world's first successful ion engine, while the Americans were only beginning to explore this technology. So why are plasma rockets so important? After all, Elon Musk is already successfully managing space transportation with SpaceX. Why do we need a new technology? First, we need to understand this. Musk's rockets, like Starship, burn liquid oxygen and methane to launch from Earth. This system generates an immense chemical reaction that produces a massive thrust in an instant. However, these rockets only use their fuel during launch, and it is depleted in about three minutes. Yes, they generate about 74 million newtons of thrust during this time, but their specific